blessings to you and certainly the favor of God be upon you today as we are really excited about the goodness of the Lord and know without a doubt uh, that God is on our side and just making ways for us out of no way. Uh, we're thankful uh, for these blessings and thankful for the opportunity to worship together uh, in spirit and in truth. Uh, this service of worship is emanating from Christian Temple Worship Center uh, in Irving, Texas, and we're just glad to share uh, the good news of about Jesus Christ today. Now, uh, we're speaking from Mark chapter 5, verses 25 through 28, which is part of a larger passage, uh, but we're just going to share these uh, words uh, in our reading today. Uh, from the King James Version, it says, And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. The subject is you must believe. You must believe. Amen. This woman with an issue or flow of blood became a social outcast in Jesus' time. She was banned from the community of Israel due to her disease. She was considered ceremonially unclean. She was not allowed to participate in public worship or to show up at the marketplace. Anyone or anything that touched her was labeled unclean and therefore isolated from the community as well. She seemed to be somewhat engaged in the community to the degree that she sought to be healed. This speaks to her determination. This speaks to her strong desire. This speaks to the fact that she knew and just felt within herself that there was a way for her to be healed. In some ways, she kind of ignored the ban. In some ways, she kind of stretched the boundaries in order to find the healing that she desired. Her desire was strong. She was motivated to reach beyond her comfort zone. Sometimes you have to reach beyond your normal to get what you want from God. Sometimes you just have to get to a point that you're not satisfied with what is going on. You're not satisfied with your condition and there's this belief that some way, somehow, I can and will be well. Oh yeah, it puts you on some dangerous ground because it's not always solid footing when you believe God for your healing. It's not always solid footing when you believe God uh, for that particular thing that you need to obtain. It's not always uh, strong footing for you because there are the realities that people with this condition uh, do not recover. There are realities that people who are in this kind of financial situation don't necessarily recover. There are realities and the news is out there and there's the those who remind you that it is potentially over for you. Uh, but she was motivated to reach beyond her comfort zone, to reach beyond her normal, to get what she wanted from the law. Uh, this woman was absolutely, unequivocally determined to find a solution to her problem. 
she was not sitting on her disease. She was not sitting saying, well, I might as well be okay about it. Uh, she was not sitting and just saying that I have to accept things as they are. Oh yeah, she was determined to find a solution to her problem. Uh, at times, life places you in the heat of the struggle with very few options. After those options are exhausted, where do you go from there? Uh, faith, hope, and optimism are vital for maintaining the right frame of mind. When pursuing solutions to your issues, your mindset is really important. Uh, God can open your mind to the opportunities around you. Yes. Uh, Abraham experienced this when he trusted God to provide a lamb for a sacrifice. While doing what God told him to do with his son, the angel stopped him. Uh, Abraham then saw the ram caught in the bush. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, may God help you to see uh, what you need to see and to know what you need to know. Oh yeah, because God has a way to bring you to victory. Oh yeah, the time and time again, God shows up. Time and time again, God gives you the information that you need. Time and time again, God pushes you to the right place at the right time yeah. to receive your miracle from the Lord. Yeah. Uh, like Abraham and uh, this bleeding woman, you must believe. You must believe that he hasn't brought you this far to leave you now. You, yeah. you must believe that there is a way uh, out of no way. You must believe. <clears throat> Oh yeah, that God has not forgotten about you. Now, the biblical account says that this woman suffered much under the care of the physicians who tried to help her. And some of you can probably empathize with that because uh, there are many things that have been tried on you. There are many different types of meds. There are many types of surgeries, many types of this, that, and the other. Oh, yes, yeah, she tried and they tried, uh, but there was no solution. Uh, she spent all of her money in hopes of being healed. Instead of getting better, the scripture says she got worse. Uh, she did everything she knew to do. And I know that there are some situations that you have researched it and you have been guided and you have been instructed to do this, that, or the other. She did everything uh, that she knew to do. Uh, she was greatly damaged by the experience of dealing with her disease. Uh, in spite of the failed attempts, she seemed to hold out hope of being healed. And I remember one time someone was asked the question that when uh, you're in a bad situation, can you know for sure uh, that God will heal you? And there were different responses. Somebody said, well, yes, I know it and I believe that he will. And then there was one unique response with, that said, well, maybe he will and maybe he won't. And so there was a time that they began to expand on that, that maybe he will and maybe he won't. But when it comes to believing God, it is not determined uh, by the reality of the outcome, but it's determined uh, by your faith and believing that God will. Y'all hear me today? Well, yeah. And so when you believe that he will, things may not change. But I'd rather go out believing than not believing. Y'all hear me today? Oh, yeah. You must believe. You must believe regardless of what it looks like. You must believe and not be so ready to give in 
uh, to your circumstance. Oh uh, yes, she held out hope of being healed. Again, there is a parallel with this woman and Abraham. Listen to this. Paul says in Romans that Abraham, who against hope, believed in hope. Uh, so many things limited the possibility of Abraham having a son with Sarah. Uh, Abraham believed God anyhow. Believed God in spite of stuff. Believe God in spite of what could not happen. Uh, believe God anyhow. I believe sometimes you have to attach an anyhow to your belief yeah. that I'm yeah. going to believe him anyhow. Yeah. Well, the doctor said it can't be done. I'm going to believe him uh, anyhow. Yeah. The banker says it cannot be done. I'm going to believe God anyhow. Uh, the employer says that we can't hire you. There's no more openings for you. But I'm going to believe God yeah. uh, anyhow. Yeah. Uh, so many things limit the possibilities. But Abraham, when everything was against his hope, he still had hope and belief uh, that God would come through. Uh, Abraham would not be stopped by the limitations and you have to make up your mind too that I'm not going to be stopped uh, by the limitations. I'm not going to be stopped by what can uh, can't be done. Uh, the woman with the issue of blood seemed to hope and believe anyhow. Uh, you must believe. I believe that's the that's the bottom line today. You must believe. Oh, yes, when all hope uh, is gone. You must believe when everything is falling in around you. You must believe uh, when you're isolated and the devil is giving you a fit. You must believe uh, that God can do more than you ask or even think. Oh, yeah, this woman's moment of absolute faith an opportunity arrived when she heard about Jesus. Let me say that again. Her moment of faith and opportunity came when she heard about Jesus. Uh, somebody likely told her about Jesus' healing campaign. Uh, they likely told her that people were being delivered and set free by God's power. Uh, they likely told her, oh yeah, that the long-awaited Messiah of Israel has come. Uh, they likely told her that Jesus can help you. Uh, when she heard about Jesus, the Bible tells us that she immediately made her way toward him. Uh, she immediately uh, believe the word of faith. Uh, she immediately that if Jesus can do that for others, he can do that for me. Uh, Paul says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Oh yeah, I'm thankful today that God can plant a word in your spirit and causes faith to come alive. Y'all hear me today? God can place, uh, place a testimony uh, in your hearing that allows faith to come alive. Uh, God can help you to hear the right thing at the right time for your faith to just explode and to believe that this is my moment that God will come through uh, for me. When she heard about Jesus, she immediately believed in him and made her way toward him. She went where he was and pressed her way through the crowd to touch him. Uh, this happening gets my attention of uh, the info that she received about Jesus set her on the right path for healing. Uh, she had followed other leads and other suggestions before but none of those worked out. She hears about Jesus 
and is convinced that he will heal her. She is convinced. She is persuaded. She knows that she knows that when I get to Jesus, yes. I will be healed. Yes. She knows it till she can feel it. She knows it that as she walks, she can walk confidently. Yes. She can walk strongly. She can walk knowing that when I get to him, yes. I will be healed. Oh, glory to God. Uh, it is certain that hearing about Jesus and believing in him can change your life for the better. When the first disciples heard about Jesus and believed in him, they left everything to follow him. They left family. They left their occupation. They left familiar territories. They left it all to follow Jesus. They believed in him so well that they were convinced that he is the Christ, the son of the living God. They believed in him so well that I heard him say, to whom shall we go? Because you have the words of eternal life. They believed him so well after they saw him on the ship in the midst of the storm speaking to the wind and speaking to the sea and saying what kind of man is this that even the wind and the waves obey his voice. Oh yeah, they believed and they left everything uh, to follow him. When Paul heard directly from Jesus uh, he believed in the law. Uh, Paul then became a follower, an apostle of Jesus Christ. Paul believed and made the ultimate commitment to proclaim the gospel throughout the world. When you hear about Jesus and believe in him, uh, you will say like the believers in Acts chapter 2, uh, what must we do? Oh yeah, you too will receive the baptism uh, in Jesus' name and in the Holy Spirit. When you hear about Jesus and believe in him, uh, you will reach out to him and tell the story of what the Lord has done. God has done so much and we have so much to tell. God has lifted your burden. He has dried the tears from your eyes. You have a story to tell. A story of how he lifted you. A story of how he picked you up and turned you around. A story of the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow to it. Uh, this woman heard and believed. Uh, she overcame the social and relig religious pressures of her day. Uh, she overcame the tendency to do nothing. Uh, my dad used to sing the song, Don't you put off for tomorrow what you should do today. Uh, let the Savior bless your soul right now. He would focus in on those words right now. <laughs> Oh, right now, today, right now is the day of salvation. Uh, right now is the moment of God's favor. Right now, uh, oh hallelujah, uh, she'll put off for tomorrow. Uh, she went to Jesus to get well. Uh, she kept saying to herself, and this gets me, she kept saying it to herself as she walked up the road she kept saying it uh, to herself as she saw Jesus from afar uh, she kept saying it uh, to herself that if I can just touch uh, the hem uh, of his garment uh, I know uh, that I shall be made whole uh, uh, some things uh, that faith does to you uh, uh, faith 
uh, reminds you of the power uh, uh, of the Lord. Uh, our faith uh, activates that something uh, within uh, that you're able to speak to yourself uh, and say that I will uh, I'll be made whole. Uh, I think I uh, uh, challenges you uh, uh, to believe uh, when you don't see any evidence uh, and you don't uh, uh, see any help uh, uh, coming in your direction. Uh, but this woman said, uh, in spite of what I see, uh, in spite of what I feel, uh, I know that when I touch uh, the hem of his garment, uh, I will uh, be made whole. Uh, she kept saying it uh, to herself uh, with these words uh, reverberating in her mind. Uh, she pressed uh, through the crowd uh, and sometimes uh, when faith uh, uh, comes alive uh, you have to make it uh, uh, through some obstacles mm, and you have to make it uh, uh, through some roadblocks uh, you have to make it uh, uh, through those comments uh, that nothing uh, will help you now uh, but this one uh, uh, sees the crowd uh, and the crowd uh, it's an obstacle. Uh, how uh, can you make it uh, uh, through the crowd uh, to get the Jesus? Uh, but I heard uh, saying, if uh, I can touch uh, the hem uh, of his gun, uh, I will uh, I'll be made whole. Uh, it reminds me uh, uh, of this rhyme. Uh, and I used to hear uh, a long time ago, uh, and I forgot the name uh, of the character, uh, but he says, I believe I can. Uh, I believe I can. Uh, I can. Uh, I believe I can. Uh, sometimes uh, it's those words uh, that help you uh, over the hurt. Uh, sometimes uh, it's those words. Uh, that drives doubt and fear away. Now, sometimes it's those words that you think and you say to yourself that clears the way for your miracle. With these words reverberating in her mind, she pressed through the crowd. She made a way through the crown. Uh, some blocked her. Uh, some stopped her. Uh, some told her uh, some derogatory things. Uh, but she kept on uh, uh, pressing uh, uh, through the crowd. Uh, she had a disease uh, and she wasn't uh, supposed to be in public. Uh, but she made up her mind. Uh, when I get to Jesus, uh, I will uh, I be well. I'm not supposed to be here, but my healing is here. I'm not supposed to be out and about, but my blessing is right here. I sometimes you have to push your way to your miracle. You have to push your way to your blessing. You have to overcome what folks say. They'll tell you a lot of things. They'll rationalize on your behalf and tell you that you're out your mind. But this woman kept pushing. If I can touch if I him on his gun, I will be whole. She exposed people to her disease and her predicament she touched people on her way to Jesus she moved them on her way to Jesus she 
touched Jesus uh, uh, from behind. Uh, uh, she touched uh, uh, his clothing uh, to receive uh, uh, her healing. Uh, because in that moment, uh, uh, she was convinced uh, that when I touch him, uh, he doesn't have to say a word. Uh, uh, when I touch him, uh, oh, good God, I'm not, uh, he doesn't uh, have to call my name. Uh, uh, when I touch him, uh, I say, uh, I'll be made whole. Uh, I can not win his head. Uh, uh, she moved him uh, with determination. Uh, uh, she touched Jesus uh, uh, with faith. Uh, and against all odds, uh, uh, she believed uh, that she would uh, uh, be healed. Uh, uh, what do you believe? Uh, the Lord for today. Uh, uh, what are you uh, uh, believing uh, that God we uh, uh, do for you? Uh, uh, Jesus said uh, on many occasions, uh, according uh, uh, to your faith, uh, uh, be it uh, uh, unto you. Uh, you may not uh, uh, have money, uh, but you got faith. Uh, you may not uh, uh, have friends, uh, but you have faith. Uh, uh, you may not uh, have experts uh, uh, on your side, uh, but you have faith. Uh, uh, can I win this here? Uh, well, uh, uh, what can we learn uh, uh, from this woman? Uh, uh, story uh, uh, what uh, can we apply uh, uh, in our lives today uh, uh, number one uh, uh, you must uh, believe uh, that Jesus uh, uh, has the power uh, and authority uh, to change uh, uh, your condition uh, uh, can we just hear uh, uh, do you believe uh, that he can fix it uh, uh, do you believe uh, and he can turn things around. Uh, uh, do you believe? Uh, yes, uh, that there's nothing uh, uh, too hard uh, uh, for my God. Uh, uh, do you believe uh, that he's able? Uh, oh, yes, he is. Uh, I heard uh, the Hebrew boys say, uh, You can cast us uh, uh, in the furnace, uh, but our God. Uh, we serve, uh, uh, he's able, uh, I can't witness here, uh, do you believe uh, that he's able, uh, uh, you must believe uh, that Jesus uh, has the power uh, uh, and the authority uh, to change uh, uh, your condition, the uh, second thing uh, I gotta leave with you, uh, is that you must uh, believe uh, that Jesus uh, uh, can be touch. Uh, is there somebody uh, I hear today uh, that know uh, that Jesus uh, uh, can be touched. Uh, uh, he can be touched uh, uh, by your faith. Uh, uh, he can be touched uh, uh, by your prayer. Uh, uh, he can uh, uh, be touched uh, uh, by your circumstances. Uh, uh, he can uh, uh, be Touched uh, uh, by your awareness, uh, and if God uh, uh, be for me, uh, uh, He's more uh, than the world uh, against me. Uh, uh, he can uh, uh, be touched, uh, uh, touch Him uh, uh, with your faith, uh, uh, touch Him uh, uh, with your praise, uh, uh, touch Him uh, uh, with your prayer. Uh, uh, Touch him uh, with your determination. Uh, uh, touch him uh, uh, with your courage. Uh, uh, can you say yes, Lord? Uh, the last thing uh, I've got to leave with you uh, is that you must uh, believe uh, that Jesus uh, uh, is Savior uh, uh, and Lord. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, uh, Jesus uh, can handle uh, uh, your problem uh, when nobody uh, uh, else can. Uh, uh, Jesus uh, can deliver you uh, when nobody uh, uh, else can. Uh, uh, Jesus uh, can heal you uh, when 
nobody. I else can. I'm Jesus. I can't save you. When nobody. I else can. He's Savior. I. He's Lord. He's the Great I Am. He's the Lily of the Valley. I. He's Jehovah. A Rofa, which means the Lord that heals you. He is Jehovah Shammah, which is the Lord, is right there. He is Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord we heal. He will provide. I can't even say, do you believe that he's able? Do you believe that he make a way? Do you believe that if you touch him, It'll be all right. Can you say yes, Lord? Glory to God. You must believe. Don't let anything or anybody get in between you and your faith. <laughs> you must believe. <laughs> you must believe. This woman made sure nobody took her belief away because she kept saying to herself, if I could just touch, the hell is gone. And it's likely that somebody in that crowd heard her say that along the way. But she kept pushing, kept pushing. Probably sounded like gibberish to some people, but she kept pushing. And she kept saying it. And she kept believing that at the moment I touch him, I shall be made whole. And the scripture says that it happened just like that. When she touched him, in that moment she was healed. If you read all three references to this in Matthew, Mark, and even Luke, it talks about the instantaneous healing from just the touch. Yes. She touched him, and she was healed. And it is Jesus that responds after the fact by saying, who touched me? Yeah. Somebody touched me. And the disciple says, Lord, there's a lot of folk in this crowd that somebody likely bumped into you a long way. But Jesus said, there was something different about that touch. Because I felt power go out from me. I felt something happen in that moment. Isn't it something? The woman feels something happen that heals her. And Jesus feels something happen because he recognized power going out. Wow. Kind of talks about how things happen in our life. God directs power to you. And we receive the blessing of that. Yes. Sometimes that power comes in the life of Jesus that he was just able to speak the word. Yes. Someone said, Jesus, you need to come to my house. Jesus just spoke the word. I don't have to be under your roof to make this happen. Yes. Yes. He just spoke the word. And deliverance came. Jesus is acquainted with our humanity. He's acquainted with the kind of challenges that you face from time to time. And we can say without a doubt, like the song that says, Jesus knows the pain you feel. He can save and he can heal. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. <laughs> Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. He can be touched with the feelings of your infirmities. Yes. He can be touched by your faith. Yes. He can be touched by your determination. He can be touched by your desire. I wonder, Jesus says, when you pray whatsoever you desire, oh, yes. when you pray, believe that you receive it yes, yes. and you shall have it. Yes. Yes. Man, the power of faith. 
We don't always get what we want. We don't always get what we desire. We don't always get what we believe, but I'd rather be on the faith side <laughs> than on the doubting side. Believe. Believe. You must believe. This woman teaches us that. You must believe. You must support your own belief in God. If nobody else says anything to you, you got to support your own faith. Yes. David said at times, I've had to encourage myself. Yes. You went to friends looking for encouragement, they said the wrong thing. You went to family members looking for encouragement, they said the wrong thing. Hallelujah. But sometimes you can encourage yourself. Comfort yourself in God's word and know that he can be touched by your faith, by your prayer, by your circumstance. You must believe. God bless you today. May God continue to strengthen you in your walk with him and in your life as you look to him by faith and walk by faith and not by sight. Yes. Amen. 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 All right. Praise the Lord.